Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 30 second must know Final Cut Pro tips and tricks. Let's get started. To quickly duplicate any element in your timeline, simply select it and then press and hold option as you click and drag it anywhere off in your timeline. As you can see, Final Cut will then automatically copy and paste a duplicate of whatever element you have selected. To quickly hide or show any element in your timeline, select it and press V. You can then press V again to bring it back. Let's say there's a frame in your video that looks especially good and you want to export a still image of that frame. Mark the playhead marker to the frame you want to export. Go under Final Cut, click Preferences. And then under destinations and under your list of destinations make sure the save current frame option is added click and drag this in from the options on the right from now on if you go into the share menu on the top right of the screen you have the option to save the current frame this will then export a high quality jpeg png or tiff file of that specific frame this is great for example to use as a thumbnail or perhaps even a wallpaper as you can see, we now have the exported frame ready to go on our desktop. You can also actually export a transparent PNG, for example, text or logos through Final Cut. I have a separate tutorial on this, which I will leave linked below. Use overlays to properly frame text in your timeline. To find these, go under the view menu and select both the show title and action save zones and the show horizon save zones. This will then allow us to perfectly center any text that we want or also frame text that we have in the corner of a frame. To deactivate the overlays, go under the same view menu and select them again. To quickly zoom in and out of the timeline, press Command minus to zoom out and Command plus to zoom in. To then fully expand the timeline, press Shift Z. Now depending on what kind of footage you're working with and what kind of Mac you're running on, you may find at times your Mac struggling to load all the frames and your video not playing as smoothly as it should. When this occurs, I highly recommend going into the view menu and switching to better performance mode. Now better performance mode will pull up a slightly compressed version of your footage, allowing Final Cut to run more smoothly. Now in instances like where you're color grading and you need a best quality version of your clip, switch back to better quality mode. You can instantly switch between the two under the view menu. For more, I highly suggest watching this tutorial of mine, which shows my top picks for settings to change in Final Cut Pro before you start editing. Taking a look at these two clips in my timeline, you'll see that they are framed identically, however, are very differently color graded, as the color grade is applied to the first clip, but not to the second. Let's say I want to bring the exact same color grade over to the second clip. Of course, I can manually do this, however, this takes quite a lot of time. There's a way to copy effects or clip adjustments from one clip to another. To do this, select the clip you want to copy from, press Command C, and then select the clip to which you want to copy the amendments. Now, instead of pressing Command V for paste, we're going to press Command Shift V, and this will allow us to paste any attributes we want to this clip. Not just color grades, but also transformations as well as audio attributes. Let's go ahead and press paste. As you can see, these two clips are now also identically graded. If we take a look at my events library, you'll see I have quite a few clips in this particular event. Now to maximize the space that this window can have, you can actually close the list of events and libraries by simply pressing this button here. This will allow us to expand the event viewer, bringing up more of your clips. To bring back your list of libraries and events, press the same button again. Now typically in the events library, as you can see, if I were to select a clip, Final Cut will automatically select the whole clip for me to drag into the project. But what if, say, you want only a small section of the clip? Well, to do this, scroll to where you want the clip to start. Let's say right here. Then press I to mark your endpoint, And then scroll to the right. And then press O to mark your out point. As you can see, we've now selected a smaller subsection of this clip, and then we can click and drag this straight into our project. I 
I'm now going to show you how to instantly save storage space by clearing what are called render files. Now render files build up anytime your project has to render and this creates cache that can take gigabytes if not terabytes of storage over time. These files are not essential to your project so can absolutely be safely deleted. To do this first select your library. Go up into the events menu and your library can be identified as the icon with four squares. Then go up into the file menu and then select delete generated library files. From here select delete render files. We have the option to delete unused only or all. I recommend selecting unused only as this won't require your project to re-render after doing so. After pressing OK, this may take a few minutes depending on the size of your library. And again, this will save you a lot of storage over time. And I highly recommend doing this every time you've finished editing a project or event. And finally, as a small bonus tip, as you can see in this library, I have two events. I have the headphone review, which we've been looking at throughout this video. And then I also have a swimwear video. I'm just going to go ahead and open one of these projects. And let's say I want to quickly switch back to my previous project. Of course, I can select the event and then open the project. But a far more efficient way to do this is to use these arrows listed above the project. As you can see, this will allow us to instantaneously switch between projects. This is very efficient if you want to pull clips from one project to another or are simply editing two at a time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If one or more of these tips was useful to you, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know if you have any questions and if you have any advice for any tips or tricks on Final Cut, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.